Hi, I'm John Chan with Review.com, and today we're going to talk about the Ecovacs DBot M88. So, how does the Ecovacs DBot M88 stand apart from other robot vacuums similarly priced? So, the M88 is a little bit more aggressive, it picks up a lot of dirt, um, it also has a mop feature, and it has smart features as well. Talk to me a little bit about the mop feature. How does that work? Uh, so basically, it comes with an attachment that comes on and off, and it has a small reservoir for cleaning fluid and also a microfiber cloth. And as it goes along, it's basically a mobile Swiffer. Uh, it costs around $380 and $450. So it's not the cheapest robot vacuum out there that has smart features, uh, but it's not as absorbently priced as some um, LG or Samsung models. What sort of smart features does the D-Bot offer? It has the basic fare. Uh, start, stop, schedule, basically everything you can find on the included remote uh, can be transferred to your smartphone so you can control it from anywhere. Not taking the mop into account, how is it just as a plain old robot vacuum? It was pretty good. It was a little bit aggressive. It really wanted to jam its brushes into places, get dirt. Um, the end result was an above average dirt pickup, around 10.8 grams per run, uh, which is, you know, over the course of a week, comparable to a light cleaning from a full-size vacuum. Were there any other uh, features that set the D-Bot apart? There was one thing that was kind of unique to the M88, which is kind of a detriment. It has a nickel hydride battery compared to a lithium, so cycle times are longer. There's also running the risk of what they call battery memory. If a nickel battery doesn't expend all the way and you stop it early, it starts to lose its ability to hold the charge. So longevity-wise the M88 might not be the best option. For the complete review of the M88 and for other robot vacuums, head over to review.com.